everyone, today we're going to dissect this tilapia which is scientifically known as Oreochromis niloticus. The tools that we are going to use today is this pencil, this pins, and this blade. So now we are going to transfer this tilapia into this plate. So this is the external parts of the fish. This one is the eyes which detects the color. This one is the nares or the nostril which detects the odor. These are the fins which used by the fish to maintain position, to move, to steer, and stop. They are either single fins along the center line of the body of the fish, such as the dorsal fin. This one is the dorsal fin. The caudal fin. This one is the caudal fin. And the anal fin. This one, the anal fin. And the paired fins, which is the pectoral fins and the pelvic fins. So this is the scales of the tilapia. This one is a cycloid. These scales is um, help the fish to prevent infection, scrapes, and parasites. This is the vent. This is the urinary and reproductive tracts of the fish. So this one is the mouth. Here, this one is the mouth. So in here, we have a gills. This is the gills. This is the breathing apparatus. Also, um, it has an operculum, which is a flexible bony plate that protects the sensitive gills. This one. This one is the operculum. So, this is the lateral line of the fish. It is the sensory organ used to sense water currents and pressure movements in the water. So, that's all the external parts of the tilapia. Now, we are going to locate the internal parts of the tilapia. So, we're going to open this tilapia. So, these are the internal parts of the fish. This one is the stomach. And this one is the intestine so it break down the food and absorb nutrients so now we are going to find the liver so liver this one is the liver here liver it assists in digestion by secreting enzymes that break down fats also serves as as a storage area for fats and carbohydrates this color black this is the liver now we're going to um, locate the heart so heart this is the heart so heart it circulates blood throughout the body so this is the heart this is where the heart located so this one here um, this is the kidney. This. This is the kidney. So, kidney, it filters liquid waste materials from the blood. And these waste are then passed out of the body. Kidney is also important in regulating water and salt concentrations within the fish body. So, this one in which where the swim bladder is located so the swim bladder um i think i popped the swim bladder so this one is the swim bladder i pop it so it looks like this so this swim bladder it looks like a balloon um this swim bladder is um used to control the buoyancy of the fish uh the coloration of this swim bladder is colorless. So, after the swim bladder, which is located in here, now we are going to locate the pyloric cicae. So, the pyloric cicae is here. This one. So, pyloric cicae, 
it secrete the enzymes that aid in digestion, may function to absorb digested food, or do both. So, this is the pyloric cicae. Now, we are going to locate the muscle. This one is the muscle. Here, this one. This one is the muscle. It provides movement and locomotion for fish. It is also usually eaten and composes the fillet of the fish. This one. This is the fleshy part of the fish. So, this color white here, this is the brain. So, the brain is the control center of the fish. Also, it is um, all the sensory information is processed in here, in the brain. So, these are the basic internal parts of the fish. So, I hope you enjoy and learn something from this video. Thank you!